guys, how's it going? I'm James McInerney and today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial on how to create a high fantasy makeup look that's perfect for stage and costume design as part of John Couture's summer series of tutorial videos. So today I'll be creating a fantasy look that's based off the amount of votes that came through John Couture's Instagram a couple of weeks ago and you guys voted for the very gold glittery starry eyed fantasy look that I did recently at the start of lockdown and I've been training as a makeup artist and a professional makeup artist for the last two years. Some people might see me on BBC3 and BBC2's Glow Up Series 2, um, which is now available on BBC iPlayer in the UK, and there's repeat episodes on BBC2 currently happening in Ireland. So I love to create hybrid fantasy makeup looks, and this is the look that got the most votes. So today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step how I create the look, and it's going to be a tutorial that you guys hopefully will feel inspired to create your own kind of fantasy makeup looks that could fit in with your applications for Junkature this year and next year. Today we're going to be going from this to this. So I'm going to do a voiceover for the tutorial today. So I'm using some facelift tapes, then I'm using some witch hazel to dry out any excess oil in the brow. And then I'm using a purple TV Pritt stick. And I'm going to add a few layers of Pritt to block out the brows because I want to have a clean canvas to do my look today. It's all about building up the layers and then I get a fine comb and just press the brow hairs up against my skin to make sure that they're all super flat, just wet and clean off any excess Pritt. And then I make sure that I set that with translucent powder on both brows and I want to make sure that there's like no texture at all. Then I'm going to go in with the gold cream color base. I'm going to do that onto my shoulders, neck and face. I'm also using a really thick white concealer to help block out the eye areas. So I use a buffing brush to get the gold on first. And then I'm going to go in and apply the white concealer, use a flat concealer brush, and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender, add a little bit more product. And this is going to help make my eyeshadow stick. Trust me when I say trust the process. <laughs> So I go in first with black eyeshadow. I use a really refined smudging brush to get that sharp kind of drag inspired wing that I want. And I'm gonna go in with a darker brown that's gonna act like the transition color for this eye shape. So I buff and blend out the brown colors and then I'm gonna use a golden shimmer shadow to help really diffuse all the different kind of color palettes that I want to create in this brown black smoky eye. Afterwards, I'm going to make sure that I get the same smoky wing shape that I have in my right eye over on the left eye. Hey presto, there's that symmetry going on. And I'm going to use some yellow lipstick that is kind of wet when I first apply it to create the cut crease. So I use a really flat, small, refined lip brush to get that product on. And then to make sure that it sets and really sparkles, I'm going in with really nice refined gold glitter dust. And again, using a clean flat lip brush, I'm just applying the pigment onto the lid of my eye. And then I'm making sure that I'm coating the same yellow lipstick, which is safe to use along the waterline. I'm going to smoke out the eyeshadow today. So I'm using kind of like an earthy toned brown eyeshadow. It sits on top of the gold pigment really nicely. I make sure that I have that really nice and blended and diffused out on both eyes. And I'm just going to make sure that the accents of gold are really sparkling. So I'm just going to touch up on both of the, my right and left cut crease to find that eye shape with a black liner pen. I spritz a bit of fixing spray onto a kind of neon yellow cake liner and I'm using like a flat angled face and body paintbrush to get that nice star design. Repeating the same side and then I'm going to use black aqua paint with a really refined paintbrush to just define the stars a little bit more. And then afterwards, going in on the lips, using a black matte lipstick, I start off with the cupid's bow. Finally the edge, I like to highlight the center of the nose and the lips, get a little bit of eyeliner on, and then lashes, baby. Double stack, pop down a few contacts, get some duo glue while it's drying. The adhesive is great to stick on a little bit of stars. And then my final procedure, I put on some gold glitter, and hey presto, we are good to go. 
So guys, this is the final finished look. It's a very starlight, Cirque du Soleil, gold inspired makeup tutorial based off the votes that were casted on Junkature Story for what makeup look you wanted me to create for you guys feel inspired for a stage style makeup and makeup that suits costume design. Thank you so much Junkature for letting me be part of your summer series on IGTV. I've been James McInerney. You can find me on Instagram at jmac underscore MUA. Make sure to tune into the Glow Up BBC and follow at the Global BBC on Instagram to catch up with all the exciting things that we've done in the makeup world last year.